Hey guys, uh, Connor Jones here, and I bring you System Test 7. Okay, so for this system, I figured um, I'm not going to be uploading like three times a month. I'm just going to upload when I feel like it. So you may see a video, I don't know, maybe like one day I'll say I'll upload it in a week and the next day you'll see I'll upload it, I don't know, the next day. So I'm just going to start making videos how I feel like I'm going to. I'm not going to have like a timed schedule so that uh, that way I can actually upload more. So anyways, here's the 6632, same as always. Uh, nothing's changed, obviously. Same, whatever, troubles, I guess, whatever. Because I, <laughs> I covered them up with duct tape so that they're not there anymore, I guess. Um, yeah, um, and also the 6602 is the same, as always. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to get right into the pull station. So, for Zone 1, I have my Firelight BG-12 that um, you've only seen once before, and yeah, it's the same as always, it's always been like that. BG-8 is always, uh, I have the other smoke detector back up here, as I said I would have different smoke detectors, though that one's still the same, and the duct smoke is the same, but this one, I changed this one just because I said I would. Um, for zone 3, I have my 4251, that's right, I have, I have changed... Well, I changed one of the pull stations on this system, but I have my 4251 T-bar here, same as always. Zone 4, I have the Edwards Smoke. Um, zone 5, I actually have this pull station up. It is my um, Harrington Signal pull station. I forget the model number. I'll see when uh, I have to reset it. But, yeah, that works really well, and I think it's from the 70s or something, but I'm not too sure. And uh, I guess for Zone 6... Um, the first person, <coughs> sorry, the, full the first pull station that I have up is my Mircom. Now, I said before that this was a Leviton, but I'm wrong. It's actually a Mircom pull station or a Mirtone pull station. I do not know the model number for the life of me, but it's actually a very rare pull station, and I've never seen them before, and I was lucky to find it somewhere. So, yeah, that's that pull station. You've seen it before. Um, and also over here, same as always behind the stopper, we have the 2099, uh, T-bar. Okay, so for the notification appliances, here we have my Edwards 4390 6 WAC, uh, vibrating bell. Um, this system is going to be bells, so that means obviously over here I have my adapter bell. So yeah, this is the adapter bell. You've seen it up here before. Um, I actually was going to have that bell here, but for some reason it actually shorted the sir the knack on this and it blew a fuse, so I had to put in a new one. And I decided just to keep that one there because I feel like it goes best with the 6602 because it's a small system and usually smaller systems use uh, single stroke bells. So yeah, um, and also the system is set on code 3. For this bell, and it's not always going to be on March time because they have the little. I don't. I don't think I ever said this, but the um, the uh, these panels have. Uh, hold on, I'll show you. These panels have little jumpers that you can remove, and I've cut. There's one jumper that you can cut to change the code from continuous to March time. So I cut it out because I didn't I didn't like continuous. Though it is possible to solder um, a jumper back on, which I might do in the future, like say for system test 8 maybe. But uh, yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and pull, you know, let's start with zone 5. So here we go. So now let's go ahead and reset this pull, and now it's kind of a pain to reset this thing with uh, one hand, so I'm actually going to set the camera down 
and I'm gonna reset it. So now you open up screw. Uh, so this is a an S. No, it's a. 244, no, FA50. It is a Harrington Signal FA50 pull station. So, yeah, there we go. Let's put the screw back in. There we go. Alright, it's reset. Now we'll go ahead and reset the panel. So, again, I have removed the enunciator. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead, you know, let's do the 4251, because it's one of my, it's one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite, my favorite pull station is a 270 SPO, because it's so simple, and they're so common around. Let's go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the coating, which is something that I have not done since, I think, System Test... Oh, I think System Test 2 is the last time I was able to change coating. So, I'm just going to set the camera down, and I'm going to reset. There, I'm going to change the coating. Yeah, the panel is now set to continuous, so let's go ahead and pull the BG-8. We haven't done the BG-8 in a while, let me just grab my keys. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and reset. There we go, reset, and let's go ahead and reset the cable. Okay, so I guess now I will go ahead and do the other system. So let's do the Mircom full station. Alright, so how this works, so you click that up. That's loud, I don't know, somewhat loud, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, um, that is, you know what? What the hell? Sorry, what the heck? <laughs> Pardon my language. Um, let's, let's do the BG-12. Just because, just for the fun of it. Let's just do the BG-12. That was fun. Alright, uh, so that has been System Test 7 with bells. System Test 8 will be <laughs> whenever. So, okay. So, thanks for watching.